Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Cliff, your host, if I may put it. Uh, welcome to the channel. And today, the topic we're treating is expectation. Expectation. And public service announcement. Most of my podcast is not scripted as my thought process that I'm sharing with you. So I may say something which might be offensive or might be wrong. Spare me with that. You can just write in the comment sections to correct me. So today the topic is expectation. And let's go. So there is this um, poem that I learned in primary school that says, look to yourself for all things, look to yourself first. You have all things and you don't need to lack. Your land has many things, great and good, rich soil, minerals and other things. Do not go to friends, cup in hand. For honey and milk flows in your land. Don't say grass is green at their feet. For grass is green at your feet. Look to yourself for all things, look to yourself first. It's a paraphrase, so spare me. So today, my focus, the focus of uh, this podcast is mostly on expectation. Um, sometimes we have relationships, like with family, friends, acquaintances at work, all based on expectation. Even when you are applying for a job, the interviewer interviews you to um, how do you call it, make sure you meet the expectation of the candidates that they want to work with them. So when you go, they expect you to what? Deliver certain attributes which you said in the interview. So life is full of expectation. When you're making friends, you have expectation in your friendship. When uh, you are born into a family, there is just that biological expectation that let's say your parents will take care of you or your parents will expect you becoming a good child, you grow up and you become like a socially sensible person so that maybe you may take of them in their old age. We have a proverb in Africa that goes like, your parents take care of you for your teeth to grow and you take care of them for their teeth to drop off. So it's like a butter trade. So, so expectations, let's go. So sometimes you may have expectations at people expecting them to kind of do certain things for you due to the relationship you have with them. Let's say um, you're sick, you expect family members to be there for you, to cater for you whilst in your hard times so that you get well. Let's say you are in predicaments, you like you have legal issues you expect uh, people to come and vouch for you that hey you are the man you said you are and they should help you out through the system financial issues anything the expectations that we build in friendship and relationship most times people um, how do you call it over expect from others that is where that's why I wanted to treat this topic. Over expectation creates um, problems for a lot of people. Yes, you may be in a certain family, but don't expect, let's say, um, sorry for the noise, my phone. Don't expect um, everything to be done for you. Sometimes you need to put in effort to do stuff for yourself. Because maybe the person you may be expecting from has issues they are dealing with which they might not have shared with you. So you may be expecting, let's say, you expect, well, I remember when I, was, when I was a kid, I always expected my dad to buy me a bicycle. But my dad never bought me a bicycle until I, get, I got sense. Then he gave me a bicycle because my dad knew that I was a type of kid having a bicycle would be dangerous for me. But in my child expectation I wanted a bicycle so I was disappointed but after growing up I found out that he had a point buying a bicycle for me I may be in my grave by now so he had a point check but still I wish I had a bicycle in the same way if you have um, how do you call it friends you may expect friends to um, help you out in times of need or support you in words of wisdom or 
in everything that you do, you expect them to do it for you. Always, before you expect from people, try to use all available means which you have as an individual. Let's say you want a friend to, uh, let's say, borrow your money, borrow some money. Let's say a uh, hundred dollars, right? And you have a watch that costs two hundred dollars. It's it's not a necessity. You can sell your watch and get two hundred dollars, and forget about your friend's hundred dollars because maybe your friend has plans for his hundred dollars. So when your friend does not give you the hundred dollars, you feel hurt, and that expectation not delivered breaks your heart, right? That is where a lot of people get it wrong. People not sharing their situation with you does not mean you should tag them as wicked because they didn't meet your expectation. Yet, yet sometimes you may feel, oh, um, this person's dad died, I was at the funeral, I helped do, do everything for him. At the funeral when my dad died, he didn't even show up or on my wedding day this friend didn't show up and how do you call it i don't think he should expect me to show up on his wedding day you might not know maybe on your wedding day he had other engagements maybe the dad was sick maybe he had other things he didn't tell you that's why he didn't show up so when it comes to expectation as human beings we should always try to lower our expectations from people yeah people might be disappointing and all that but when you have zero expectation from human beings, you are always not disappointed. Even when it comes to relationship, I know relationship, people sacrifice a lot in relationship and they expect to be reciprocated in the relationship. But you don't get that. That is how life is. Never expect a lot from people. People can always disappoint. Even let's use the Bible as example. Jesus Christ came to this world. He knows everything. He's all-knowing. He's God in human flesh, right? And he had 12 the first disciples, right? Even within his 12 disciples, I remember those times where um, he was having words with his, preaching with his disciples, and Peter said, Oh, if they come, I'm going to do it. I'm paraphrasing. Um, when they capture you, I'm going to protect you, do everything. Jesus told him, Hey, before the cock crows three times you deny me it's a way that um, Jesus is saying you shouldn't expect too much from even your disciples they may disappoint you who sold Jesus out his own disciple Judas you get me so with human relationship you should always have less expectation People might disappoint you. People might do a lot of things which you didn't expect them to do. But hey, chill. Move on. Another time. Always have less expectation. And the key thing for you to learn to have less expectation is always do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Maybe you might not understand it in this way. Always do good to people, but don't expect others to do good to you. I said do unto others what you expect others to do unto you, but don't expect. You get me? So let me go again. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. It didn't say do unto others what you always want others to do unto you. I think maybe you may be confused. Expectation is what you want others to do unto you will not always be done unto you. So let's say people in hard times, you fall, you help them out. Don't expect them to help you out in hard times. I have very great, I have a lot of friends. I have very good friends. I cherish in high esteem. Uh, my college years, my mature years, I have very good friends. 
and I really love them. But not all of my friends will I expect certain things from. I know some of my friends are like face value friends, a <laughs> Ghanaian man who say fun full friends, but I love them, right? I will still do good to them because that's my nature. Those who, who you expect to do good to you, do good to you. But don't always expect good from people because when your expectations are high, you tend to be disappointed and in the end, it destroys your relationship with people. And also, people have issues they're dealing with. So when you have high expectations on them, it kind of hurts you out. So this is my podcast for today. Expectation, always one. Do good unto people, but always have low expectation. Low expectation helps you build better relationship than high expectation. Let me repeat that. Low expectation from people help you build better relationship with people than high expectation. Whenever you have high expectation from people, you always get disappointed. But whenever you have low expectation from people, you never get disappointed. And always know people might come, people might go. Know who is your friend. No, if you are, if you're a person who have high expectation, then you should be very careful in selecting your friends. When you're selecting friends, you should look for traits like loyalty, traits like truthfulness, traits like honesty, which is the same as truthfulness, and traits like somebody who is serviceable and willing to be there for you. Those are the type of friends you should go for. But whenever you get low expectation from people. You can easily make friends with anybody. So this is a short podcast and I hope you enjoy it. And keep in mind, always have low expectation from people. Cheers.